We're all yeah. looking forward to November 30th, and just moments ago I heard you mention something yeah. else out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, the good thing though is, you know, we, we do get these systems that develop out in the, in the, the Atlantic during this time of the year, mm -hmm. but they usually stay out in the Atlantic. They don't impact anybody. And in fact, I was just looking back over the, since like 1970, of all the systems that have developed in December, none of them have impacted land, or at least the United States. So good news, but we do, we do have something out there um, that we're tracking. Hello? <laughs> you yeah, knock on wood there. Oh, I got, I got it. <laughs> Yeah, we are tracking Invest 99L out there. It's southeast of Bermuda right now. It's moving to the east-northeast at 8 miles per hour. Now, wind speeds are up there around tropical storm force. It's slowly developing, and there's a chance that we could get a subtropical storm out of this. Now, the difference between a subtropical versus a tropical storm, there's a lot of technicalities with it. Really, the main thing that you need to know is that with subtropical systems, the stronger winds are, they extend out from the center, and they're not necessarily confined to that central circulation. And you can see that sort of the, that comma shape of the low pressure system. See how the clouds are extending out well beyond that and there's sort of that gapping there. That is indication of a subtropical system. It has a blend of tropical characteristics along with just typical low pressure system or mid latitude low pressure systems. And that's what we're finding with that cloud signature out there. There is a, a pretty well defined low level circulation right there. You can see that spin around the center of that low, but then those wind speeds are extending out from the center. So it's developing and it probably does have a good chance of becoming a subtropical storm over the next four to five days as it tracks within that orange hashed area to the north and east. Beyond probably Thursday into Friday, it starts to move over the cooler waters of the North Atlantic. And then from there, still a low pressure system, still a storm system, just no longer maintaining those tropical characteristics. So it's just a stronger storm system at that point. It does a little loop, kind of meanders over the central Atlantic for now, and then it races up to the north and east as it gets caught up in more of that upper level flow. So we may get Owen. Owen is the next name on the list. Even though we're not in hurricane season technically anymore, we still use the list for 2022. If a system were to develop in January, then we would use the list for the 2023 hurricane season. Again, Owen, the next name on the list for those uh, tropical systems. All right.